What's up, Legends? So, was I just streaming then or nah? I don't think I was, but Gigliato, you threw me off when you said yo. I was like, shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, how are you going? No justice lasts forever. Is this happening? It already happened, bro. Happened last night and we are... It happened on a Instagram comment thread of a video, of a uh, post about a video. So, I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, but first, let me know if everything's working fine in that. You can hear me and I'm actually streaming this time, which I thought... I wasn't, but comments. That was weird. Let's see. The real thing, what's up? All right, I think we're good. I assume you guys can hear me fine. Yeah? It's all good. What's up? All right, everything's good. So, everything's good. For sure, for sure. That's tudo bom in Brazilian in Portuguese, not Brazilian, in Portuguese, you know what I mean, in Brazil, Tudo bomb, everything good, that's how people say what's up, alright, so what's up, what the fuck is up Alison, how you doing, so it's been an interesting couple of days, it's been, hang on a minute, I'm looking real blurry, right, let me play with this a little bit, Oh, yeah, that's sharp. <laughs> okay, Lee Priest is not getting on here, but I have invited him. So if he wants to get on and chat, I am so down. I really want to talk to this guy because I don't understand the dude. And um, I think that he, I don't know. I think he's had a lot to think about today. I hope. I hope he has. Maybe he hasn't thought about it at all. But I think he might have. What's up, Rachel? So I'm going to go through the whole conversation. It's kind of long, but whatever. We, we got time, right? And I want to discuss our conversation, me and Lee Priest. Who is Lee Priest? You guys might want to know. Let me find a good description for you. Lee Priest is a competitive bodybuilder. He is a former International Federation of Bodybuilders, professional bodybuilder, and a current National Amateur Bodybuilders Association professional athlete. 51 years old. He is a fucking beast. This guy is so, so strong. It's crazy. Respect. Dude looks amazing. Dude looks great. Sick tattoo on his face. Love the vibes. Actually, let's have a look at him. Um, how am I going to do this? Whoops, not like that. Hold up. How do I do this? Check it out. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Lee Priest, that's not, let's, let's have a look at, see if we can find a photo of his body or something. He blocked me, I can't look at his Instagram. All right, well that's his own fault, I was about to show his body off, but too bad, now no one gets to see. When Lee was 16 years old, he was a freak. Yeah, he looks fucking nuts in his photos, but he blocked me, so I can't show you. He looked ridiculous even when he was 21. Ah. Thanks, Allison. Got a fresh dude today. I appreciate that. Yeah, we got a good, a good barber today. He was, he was killing it. All right, so Lee Priest, massive bodybuilder, a legend. Dude's IFBB Ironman Pro 2006 is his best win. So fucking great stuff, bro. He looks amazing and, um, you know, just absolutely freaky, like freak show strong, freak show muscles. Cool. And uh, <laughs> Allison said, I saw those comments. He was acting like a bitch. All right. I'm going to have to say that I don't think it was Lee's finest moment. I want to give Lee the opportunity to redeem himself, you know, after maybe he thinks about it. Maybe he won't, as I said, but, you know, maybe he felt confronted and he was a bit defensive. Maybe he'll think about it more and be like, yeah, fuck that vegan was right. I'm a hypocrite. Or maybe he'll just be like, fuck it. I already knew I was a hypocrite. I don't care. Who knows? But um, animal abuse is only bad when it's an animal I care about. Yeah. That is the, that is the mantra of meat eaters. <laughs> For sure. So, 
Oh, hang on a sec, guys. Hang on. Let me let me just pin a little something to the top here. Boom. Did that work? All right. You guys want to send any tips? Feel free. I got a few little perks here going on. Vegan rant, blazer, shirt off, kiss Nikki, and join the stream. 50 bucks. But Lee, if you want to join the stream, free. And John Johnny Bravo, if you want to join the stream, free, my bro. Let me know. I'll bring his on. Um, he's another bodybuilder, and this is who's post we were commenting on yesterday so i don't want to i don't want to look i feel like i was already very nice to him yesterday when i approached him about this and i don't feel like he appreciated that he you know i could have been very rude about it he reciprocated in a very rude way now yeah maybe he was defensive whatever i'm going to give the guy this is probably a mistake of mine but i'm going to give the guy the benefit of the doubt here and i hope that i want to give him an opportunity to an opportunity to think about it and be like, look, animal abuse is fucked. He already agrees. That's why I made a video about him a day or two ago because he was speaking out against an influencer in the fitness industry who had a video posted of him punching a cat, grabbing a cat by the throat, throwing it around, kicking it. He fucking said, animal abuse is so wrong. You should be ashamed of yourself. His company that, su that supports him, Young LA, should drop him. And they dropped him over this, right? They cut his paycheck. He's gone. He don't work for them no more. I love it. Yes, call out animal abuse, big man. Fuck, we need some big guys who are dominant, strong looking guys to stand up for the innocent, defenseless, defenseless animals. And he fucking did it. Nothing but respect for that for that case mad so did this other guy johnny bravo here you guys can see um i've got his insta up here all right so did johnny bravo they both made a video calling out this cat abuser love it i was so happy to see it and then i'm thinking all right i'm gonna make a video to say look yeah cat abuse is so wrong but so is cow abuse right so is pig abuse and i made a video showing what happens for meat dairy and eggs what happens if you want to eat a piece of meat to an animal? What happens if you want to eat an egg? What happens if you want to have some cheese or drink some milk? I'll show you. And I made a video where I talked about and shown in videos the gas chambers that animals are forced into, the knives that stab them in the throat. I showed the egg industry where the male chicks are shredded alive because they're seen as a waste product. Right? I showed as much as anybody would need to see who is an animal lover to be like, Horrific cruelty, oh my God. I never really thought about how meat got on my plate. I just, I bought it off the shelf and I ate it and I never, I never thought much about the animals. I thought it was humane. This is clearly not humane. In fact, how could you do it humanely? Fucking dude's got a point. I should really, I should really strongly consider going vegan. Maybe it takes some time. Maybe he thinks about it. Maybe he goes vegetarian first. I would recommend vegan immediately. Why wait? It's easy, you can do it right now. But I understand some people got a bit of a process to go through. All right. So, Karen Smith said, I do think we need to be kind when trying to inform meat eaters of their hypocrisy. Otherwise, they just switch off. It's so hard living in a not yet vegan world. Look, it's hard to know what's best, right? I actually wonder if I came at him with a more, like a more brutally honest approach. You know, you'll see I was very nice to him. I wonder if it would have maybe hit the mark a little stronger who knows but um anyway look who knows i did my best and um i hope it leads to something positive it at least got him thinking about it and his mate and a lot of people will have seen our comment thread here and i've got some views on my video so it's not a total waste but just imagine if this dude was like, I'm going vegan. And then everybody who's been influenced by him, he's got on the way to a million followers on Instagram, got like 650,000 followers. He's like, guys, I'm going vegan. And then he's this big, strong beast, keeps his muscle, shows people how to do it on a vegan diet. That would be phenomenal. He would be such a great leader and he would help so many animals. And I thought that's what he cared about. That's why I made the video in the first place. He made a video talking about cat abuse. This guy that was abusing cat, I'm like, Dude, you're going to want to know how cruel it is to eat animal products. You're going to want to know why you should be vegan. I'm going to take time out of my Saturday night, do you a favor here, make you a video, right? 
you never heard of these people before, that's probably because you're not involved in the bodybuilding scene. But if you are, I guarantee you would have heard of Lee Priest. Very famous name in the scene. And here's another thing. Bodybuilders eat a lot of animals, right? More than most people. They eat two or three times as many animals as most people. So you get 100 bodybuilders or 1,000 bodybuilders going vegan, and that's like 3,000 bodybuilders or 3,000 normal people stopping eating animals. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? So, all right, this is gonna work. So let me just paint the picture a little bit because the, oh, you can't see the title. Well, what the title says is, you're a wife beater, pointing at Lee Priest. And what happened is, Lee Priest and Johnny Bravo made a video about the cat abuser. Then all this guy, this guy who had all the followers, this cat abuser, got like 1.6 million followers. All his followers started talking shit about Lee Priest and, and maybe the other dude too, saying he's a wife beater, etc., etc. I don't have no idea about any of that. So this is a response video to that. I've already said, um, I've, I've DM'd them both. I'm like, yo, check out this video I made about you guys. I think it's gonna give you a really interesting perspective to think about. Who knows? Now, this is the video where they're responding to that. So they ignored my stuff. Maybe they didn't see it, who knows? And I'm commenting on this. So this was the caption by Johnny Bravo TV. What can I play with? A lighter. This story has taken a turn and thousands of angry Daddy Aioli, who is the cat abuser, thousands of Daddy Aioli fans have been trying to spread a false slanderous rumors about Lee Priest to try to justify the actions of the real actions of animal abuse that Lee Priest exposed. Search Johnny Bravo Films on YouTube for the full video. Lee Priest is a highly respected legend in the bodybuilding world. The actions by these thousands of people to try to tarnish his legacy is a disgrace. Okay. So he thinks that's a disgrace. Fair enough. So I responded to both of them, Lee Priest and Johnny Bravo. I respect that you guys are standing against animal abuse, but don't you guys eat animals that were abused for you every single day? I made a video about what I would consider a huge hypocrisy titled, Is Lee Priest a Moral Hypocrite? No shade intended, just doing exactly what you guys are doing, defending animals, just like men should. Please watch the video. I think I explain myself well. And if you have arguments against what I say and show, I'd be curious what you would say. Peace, guys. Peace. All right. This clown, blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck. This shit is not... Hang on. Let me start that again. Because this is um, out of place. Hold up a sec. Hmm. It was not in order is what I'm trying to say. Here we go. Boom. All right. Why did this get weird? Hmm. Hold on a second. Live time, people. You know how it is. Where is the bottom here? All right. So dark, eh? What the hell? Why is it like this? Maybe like this. Better. Are right, we almost there? Cool. So, first response. I. I'll check it out and happy Easter. This is by John Bravo. I know that we eat meat, but there is also a big difference between that and abusing domestic pets and animals. I love animals more than anything. We have a big animal lover here, guys. So I'm like, awesome. These guys fucking love animals. This is gonna, they're gonna be so happy to learn about this. I'm assuming they didn't understand about slaughterhouses and things like that. Otherwise I wouldn't understand why they would not be vegan already. So. I wrote back, hey man, I very much appreciate that you will watch it. Thank you. I share because I care. I know you can relate. Let's discuss if there's a big difference after you've watched it. Might give you a different perspective. Doesn't need to be public. Feel free to DM me if you prefer. Nice as. All right. 
blah, blah, blah. Oh, he's deleted. Oh, guys, I didn't even think of this. Don't worry about it. Nah, I didn't even think of this. I'm blocked. I can't see his shit no more. I can't see his shit no more. Fucking unblock me, Lee. Why did you block me, Lee? I'm just going to read it to you from my phone. Who cares? How stupid. Wait a minute. What if I... Nah, I, I got nothing. I can't do nothing. I'm just going to have to read it to you. I took screenshots, luckily. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to have to cancel this whole live. All right, you're going to have to just listen instead of following along. Unless I upload them to my computer. <laughs> you got screenshots as well, Alison. That's sick. So funny. I don't even know how to send them to my computer. I ain't there yet. All right, whatever. Who cares? I'm just going to smash through this, all right? Listen up. All right, so Lee Priest wrote back to my message, right? I, I recommend you guys watch this video. I appreciate that you guys stood up for animals, etc., etc. Send it to myself on email. That's actually a good idea. I'll just do it. It'll be heaps better. All right, I'm doing it now. Thanks, Alison. Good plan. Hmm. Lifetime, guys. Because he blocked me. Because he blocked me. How dare you, Lee? Just when I thought we were getting somewhere. All right, let's have a look here. Hold up. Gig is gig, everyone, in case you just didn't know. All right, let me see if I can figure this out. Thanks, Alison. It's going to work. What are you talking about? Going to work so good. Already working. Right? Right? Yeah? Where is it? Hmm. No, it ain't. to save messages should be here right now should be shown maybe it's because I sent it to signal and signal is like you know a bit private <clears throat> right, I'll try whatsapp instead let's see one day I'll have a full time assistant sitting here doing all this stuff that I suck at doing All right, sent. If you use Google Photos, calm down, calm down. Let's just one thing at a time here, mate. You think I'm, you think I'm good at all this? All right, what we got here? Boom. So, okay, we get in somewhere. All right. How good? Should work. Why is this not working? How annoying. Ain't showing nothing. Why you do this to me, phone? Why you do? Mm, I'm running out of moves here. If I use Google Photos, you don't need to do anything. Nah, I'm, that's going too deep. All right, what can I do? I was like, you blocked me, Lee. And I got screenshots, whatever. But now I'm like, ah, oh, you blocked me and it actually fucked me up. Fuck you. <laughs> um, I don't know how to fucking fix it. Yeah, I don't know. It's... You would think it would be working right now. But no, can't do it. Gonna have to try something else. Hmm. 
If you sign out of IG, you'll be able to see them. Nah. Oh, maybe. Maybe. That's a good idea, mate. Got some smart people in this chat. So, let me see. What's this dude's? Johnny Bravo TV. Copy Insta. Um, how do I get out of here? Oh, that guy's a legend. All right, we get in there. We get in there. What a move. Dude, you're on it. All right. Fuck. Nah, I can't. Hang on, hang on. One more, one more try. Whoa, could be. Nah, can't like go deeper into the comments or anything. I tried it with the chat. The suspense is killing me more. I tried it with the chat app already. I need a plan here. I need something else. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Everyone just sit tight, make some popcorn, something like that. Save all. Boom. I'll save them in a new folder. Lee Priest debate. It's going to get juicy soon. It's going to get juicy soon. Select folder. Boom. Okay. Show in folder. Okay. I think we're good. I think I got, I think I made something out enough in there. So let's see here. Homie's got popcorn. Good stuff, Axel. All right. Let's see. Let's see if that was all a waste of time. show it why that's so weird it won't show my photos i don't know if that's a privacy thing <laughs> well you gotta dude gig hello where were you five minutes ago bro when i first started having problems over here i love how everyone's just hanging out watching me have problems you know like who cares about this debate look at this guy suffering in his live stream what a clown i don't even know how to live stream i know what you're all thinking judging that's all right i would judge too i'd be laughing too all right i got one more idea and then maybe something new will come to me let's see open with some other shit photos okay let's have a look bang nothing I'm chilling, we have tech issues sometimes. Yeah, but this is, looks like one of those issues that I don't think is gonna fix itself. All right, I got another idea. What if I open it in a browser somehow? Can I do that? Is that what you're talking about, Google Photos? I can upload the photos? Oh, going on a whole mission here, everyone. Go to Google Photos, let's see what that does. Let me get full screen back on here before you guys see any random shit? All right. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to upload from the computer. And, dude, it's, it's happening. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Where are they? <laughs> this is what makes live streams amazing. This guy's got a, a standard that I like to see. Thanks, Axel. I appreciate it. Where is the weed pick posted? I absolutely cannot tell you that. Um, Alison's playing with her cat. That sounds good. I, I have a cat in here sleeping. How good is that? That's why the vibes are so chill. I need 10 more grams of protein today. What should I have? Satan. Do it. In... In... Uh, What's it fucking called? Like, pay your specs to Easter and eat Satan. 
Can you change that to what you want to show? All right, so here we go. Let me see. This might actually work. I might actually crack the code. Me, this guy. Boom. Oh, you guys are gonna love me. Look at this. I think we've done it. What a journey. We're all on together right now. <laughs> Fuck, where is it? Over this way, maybe. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Fucking take that, everyone. Yo, did not think I was going to make it. But I care about this stream. So, all right, that's the last photo. So, let's go this direction. Hang on. Could you believe, could you believe that these aren't even in order? Shut up. How could that happen? Wait, this is what makes lives amazing, Axel. Don't forget. <laughs> Can you change that to what you want to show? <laughs> Hold on. So, I can't believe that happened. All right. Nah, that ain't the first thing. Why is that even there? Yeah. What? How would it be that this would happen and not be in order? Nah, I can't accept it. I'm going to have to move all this shit around. Bullshit. Bullshit. First. It's so all over the place. This is gonna take forever. Why the fuck did that happen? Hang on, I got one more move. I got one more move. Um, where's that thing where you're like, sort by view? Oh, I don't know how to do that. Lee Priest is watching, laughing. What a joker. You'll never be able to explain what happened. Maybe you're right, Lee. It's, it's crazy how much this is out of whack. So. All right, I'm going to, look, this is the length I will go to. I'm going to just find the right one every time. Okay, I'm going to go and order on my phone and I'm going to, you know, figure it out on the thing. Shall I start again? Do I need to start again? I'll start again. So. Ridiculous. All right. I'm like, dudes, I made a video. By the way, thanks heaps for making that anti-cat abuse video. Homie is like. Homie is like. Boom. I'll check it out. Happy Easter. All right. Hell yeah. Okay, now. All right, me. Hey, man. I very much appreciate that, that you will watch it. Thank you. I share because I care. I know you can relate. Let's discuss if there's a big difference after you've watched it, meaning a big difference between abusing a cat or slaughtering an animal for food. Might give you a different perspective. Doesn't need to be public. Feel free to DM me if you prefer. All right. Boom. Now, next important one is... Here we go. It's actually maybe not as out of order as I thought. No, this is Lee the man himself. One of the world's biggest dudes ever. Okay, nobody likes animal abuse. Oh, sorry, nobody likes abuse to animals. Yes, some abattoirs can be rough, but you just hope that they were humanely killed, that they humanely killed the animal. We always eat animals for food. It's all alive, sadly, but that's no excuse to abuse domestic animals. Sadly, 
These other animals are bred for food, like I said. Yes, it is sad, but that's life, and you just hope it's done humanely as possible. Anyone not doing it humanely should be brought up on charges. Okay, dude, he's serious about animal abuse. He's like, if you're not, if you're not slaughtering humanely, you should be brought up on charges. I couldn't agree more. I would put them in jail, actually. Anyone who wants to slaughter animals, I think it should be illegal. As slavery should be illegal. As murdering a human should be illegal. Murdering animals should be illegal. They're other sentient beings. They feel like we do. Murder to them feels like murder to us. Extremely bad. That's why it's an extremely large punishment if you murder somebody. So it should be. Even if you humanely murdered somebody, meaning you shot their head off with a shotgun and they didn't even see it coming. You did it from the back of their head. That's still murder. It's still bad. You ended somebody's life. It's not a good thing at all. Horribly bad. Horribly violent. So, do degrees. Anyone not doing it humanely should be brought up on charges. Mad. Now let's talk about if it's ever humane or not. So, some garbage underneath here. Nothing interesting. All right. Fuck, it's in order, guys. Oh, my God. I made it happen. Thank you for bearing with me, everyone. Check the tone, all right? I'm, I'm coming at this dude like, I believe in you. All right, I, I have faith in you. You seem like a good-hearted person to me. You're an Aussie guy like me. I understand you, mate. You know, on some level, like, I get you. So I feel the same. I hope that we can have a conversation. And I know veganism seems crazy to some people at first until you think about it and realize not being vegan and paying for slaughter is actually the crazy move here. But I'm coming at him like, I believe in you, bro. Like, I think maybe you're ready to do this. You know, maybe you're ready for a change in your life. You care about animals. Maybe this is the moment you need to do it. I hope so. So, brother, Lee, firstly, thank you for engaging in this discussion with me. I haven't eaten animals in 11 years. It's not necessary at all. You must know that being so deep in health and fitness. Saying we will always eat animals for food is like the people who said we will always have slaves. It stops when we stop demanding it to happen. And for that to happen, there needs to be leaders who are willing to go against the grain and show a better world is possible. This guy would be such a good leader for so many people who eat so many animals. What is humane about breeding sentient beings into existence who experience life as fully as we do? with all the same senses and emotions, fear, pain, etc., just to murder them. They use gas chambers, bolt guns, or electrocution, and they are stabbed in the throat. This is nothing close to humane. It is the complete opposite of humane, and makes what this guy did to the cat look like child's play. I'm not condoning what he did. I completely agree it is so wrong to abuse animals. But I am consistent, man. It's either wrong or it's right. It's not wrong sometimes. And sometimes if we feel like eating some flesh, it becomes fine. That's not how it works, man. You can be sure they suffered every single time. Have you seen Dominion? It's a documentary on YouTube about Australian abattoirs. If you watch it, I know you would agree with me. Wouldn't a world without abattoirs be a much better world? Is what I meant to write there. Right? Wouldn't a world without abattoirs be a much better world? So, that's what I was thinking there. Now, oops, wrong way. All right, you are with me, right? We're doing this. Um, this dude, just blah, blah, blah. As long as it's done humanely, blah, blah, blah. But people who are directly supporting someone who posts videos of themselves abusing animals. There is no excuse for that, as Lee has shown. I said, animals go into slaughterhouses alive and come out chopped into pieces. What exactly do you think sounds humane about that? It's so crazy. Thanks, Axel. It's so crazy that people just hear that it's humane. They're like, it's humane. It's humane, people tell them. It's we do it humanely. And people are like, oh, okay. And then they can just watch gas chambers and be like, yeah, it's humane. It's humane. And then see pieces of animals from after they got murdered and people like humane what the fuck's humane about it what humane means to show compassion how is this compassionate compassion is taking a sick animal to a vet not taking a healthy animal to a slaughterhouse what the fuck so anyway 
Back to Lee, from me. Imagine if he treated the cat the way animals are treated in abattoirs, which is what we call slaughterhouses in Australia. Fired a steel rod through a cat's skull into her brain, then slashed her throat open. You would lose your fucking shit, and rightly so. Rightly so, of course he would. He would fucking lose his shit. He would be like shocked that a, a dude, a fitness influencer, would abuse an animal like this way. Yeah, he pays for it every time he fucking buys meat. This dude. I'm not going to go into all the other people trying to debate me here. I tried to just stick with Lee because he's the person who has the influence here. So I'm focused on him. But there's a couple of people I responded to. Um, this dude's like illogical fallacy. Just because we eat animals doesn't mean we support that shit. Is it wrong? Absolutely. So it's fucking wrong or it's not wrong. Ah, all right. Now I think I'm in a weird place here. Hang on. Ah, no. Where is it? Okay, so all he responded to me with all that. Let me see if it's here actually real quick. I th it looks like it's not. It gets so crazy at the end here. It's stupid, man. It's so stupid where it goes. Disappointing. It was really disappointing. Yeah. Oh, all right. It's right here. He's, so this is his response. Here we go. Serious. Try better. That's it. Right? Serious. Like I wrote this whole speech, man. You know? And it made sense. Firstly, brother, thanks for engaging me. We just like seriously try better. Try better what? I'm like, you're abusing animals way worse than that. Dude abused a cat. You could not do that, you know? Like we could have a world where we don't have slaughterhouses if everybody just did what vegans are already doing. Very easy. You can still eat vegan meat. It's fucking delicious. Full of protein. You can still be as strong as you are and you'll have healthier heart, healthier arteries than that. Like there's so many benefits, dude. All right, anyway. Yeah, he said to do better. Exactly, Alison. Alison knows the whole story. She already read all this. So, I'm like, what? Do better how? I'm defending animals just like you did. How about you do better, bro? You pay people to slash animals' throats open. Instead of lazily dismissing me, why not just say something like, fuck, you're right. It's very violent to slash animals' throats open. Maybe I should consider what you're saying. I do love animals, but I pay for them to be killed so I can eat them. It does sound hypocritical. I'll give it some thought. If he just said that, I'd have been like, fucking awesome, bro. Just give it some thought. That's a really good start. I appreciate it. I would have been on my way. But no. So anyway, give it some thought. Like I was like, this is what would be great if you just said this, bro. You know, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to, because maybe it's just like, I don't really know what to say. I don't want to say, okay, yeah, I should go vegan on the spot right now. I'm not necessarily ready for that. But I also, you know, maybe I don't want to give this vegan so much shit for trying to help animals, which is what I was doing in my videos, helping the cat. So I'm trying to give him another option here. I'm like, you could hear like something like this, bro, you know, give us some thought. Like just say you'll give us some thought, anything. Anyway, trying to help him out. He said, I'll give, I said, you could say this. He said, and I, fuck, and I said, it's rational, dude. That's why it's hard to argue against. Because notice, he didn't make any argument. He just said, like, basically, whatever. I said, that's why it's hard to argue against. Animal lovers are fucking awesome people and have to teach the rest of the world how to love animals. I'm not perfect, but I'm just sharing something I've been doing for 10 years. So it obviously works. And if everybody did it, which they easily could, slaughterhouses would go out of business. Sounds fucking good to me. Thought you might agree. I'm confused why you don't. Why wouldn't you agree if you are against cat abuse and you're like, people who don't humanely slaughter animals should be prosecuted. But then you're like, here's money. I'm going to buy this corpse and you create a demand for more corpse. And how do you get corpse? You murder. You have to slash animals' throats. Way fucking worse than punching a cat. And yeah, it's not good to punch a cat. You punch it like this. You know, it was like 20% of the guy's power, probably. These dudes are slitting throats and ending lives in horrific ways. And I've shown that in the video. If you watch the video, Lee, you'll see what happens in Australia. Don't, don't pretend you don't know or it's not bad. It's fucking horrific. 
what happens to the animals from birth to death and um, watch Dominion Dominion the website's watchdominion.com two hours of Australia and then you can go to farmtransparencyproject.com I think or .org all Australian all Aussie farms there's 10 hour continuous footage of the gas chambers so you'll see that every animal that goes into these gas chambers suffers horribly for minutes and I mean horribly I mean you never seen an animal suffer like this so bad. You never seen, you never heard the screams like so pierce your ears, so loud, so terror, right? It's always like this. There's no humane slaughter. So put yourself in this situation. Then you'll, it'll be more easy to be like, yeah, this isn't humane, you know? As soon as it's somebody else with a couple of extra legs, you're like, fuck it, humane. Gas chambers, that's all good. All right. Anyway, I thought you might agree. I'm confused why you don't. I'm still just being like, work with me. Give me something so I can just be like, cool. You, you got the message. I don't need to keep drilling you about this. All right, next, next thing. Um, cool. Lee Priest. Oh, slavery. Here we go. That was, I was responding to somebody else saying they're, they're slaves, dude, you know? And then he's responding to them again. Crazy, huh? He needs help. Uh, all right. <sighs> Shit all over the place. Um, here we go. All right. So this is the person that Lee had also read. I'm, and I'm saying it's slavery, man. You know, I skipped the message, but like, he was the one who said, it's wrong, but blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, I'm glad you agree it's wrong. You pay for flesh, meaning you create a demand for violence. That's simply the fact. If you own a slave, you support slavery. If you eat flesh, you support animal abuse. It's as simple as that. Lee again, really do better. No arguments, no response, no actual like reason why it's okay to eat meat, you know? No like, nah, dude, you don't understand. We only eat animals that died of natural causes. You know, like maybe you could make an argument for them. Like, well, you didn't even kill them and they was just died naturally. Maybe eating meat is a different story there, right? But there's nothing, no, nothing like this. Just, just like doesn't want to acknowledge the fact that he pays for animals to have their throats slashed open. Because it's like kind of unbelievable. It's kind of a shocking thing, right? And like, how do you defend it? You can't. That's the whole point vegans are trying to make. Like, guys, you can't defend this. You know, that's why I went vegan. I was like, yeah, we can thrive without eating animals, then this is really fucked up. I can't defend this. So it's not like, there's not a debate here, right? It's not like this, the other side has a good argument. It's purely just stubbornness and willful ignorance, not wanting to know the truth, pretending you don't know and staying in your big group, your, your big group where you're so comfortable with all these other animal abusers who also don't give a fuck. That's what's going on. Really do better, says Lee. Um, now I said more than 95% of the animals people eat in Australia are from cages in factory farms. As soon as they're born, they're owned as property and turned into products. That's the definition of slavery. Might sound far-fetched, but it's the reality. I know people that hear animals are slaves and they're like, how the fuck animals can't be slaves? You know, humans are animals. So animals can be slaves. Humans are were slaves and are slaves and we're animals so animals can be slaves now maybe what you mean is a pig can't be a slave why not are they owned are they forced to do things against their will do they have any freedom no and what is going to happen to them their whole body is going to be turned into products they're used for their bodies they're owned by somebody as somebody's property they don't have any autonomy they don't have any rights to their own life there's nothing good for them in this life so it's slavery sorry but it is it just is, you know, it is. Look up the definition of slavery if you disagree. Other beings can be slaves. Fact, it happens to all the animals that you eat. They're all slaves. I, as, as, assuming that you don't hunt and murder yourself. You buy, and I'm sure you do sometimes at the very least, but probably almost all the time, you're buying your food from Coles or Woolworths, right? And they're all factory farmed animals and they're all murdered and they're all slaves. All right. So, he's like saying I'm crazy, right? Back here, where is the shit? F 
fucking crazy, huh? He needs help. I don't need help, bro. I'm here to help you. I'm trying to genuinely help you here. Save your own life from not getting a heart attack and save animals' lives, which I thought you would understand and respect. So I'm like, crazy how? For saying we shouldn't punch cats and we shouldn't stab cows and pigs? That's crazy, is it? Sorry to say, but maybe you're the crazy one, mate. You want to come on stream and talk about it? Fuck this comment se section. Let's discuss man to man. I just wanted to talk to the dude. Like, comments are fucking annoying. I want the dude to hear I'm sincere. I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm not trying to just call this guy out. Like, I'm trying to help an animal lover be a better animal lover. Because right now, you can't be an animal lover and pay people to slash throats of animals open. Doesn't, doesn't work. Total opposites. That's the opposite of what an animal lover should do. The least an animal lover should do is be vegan. Stop hurting them. And then anything on top of that, great. You want to volunteer at a sanctuary. You want to do vegan advocacy. You want to fucking whatever. Rescue a puppy. I don't know. Cool. All on top of that. But the very least any animal lover should do is stop funding torture of animals. And that's what it is to be vegan. So, all right. So I'm like, let's discuss Lee. I would, would you? Then do it. I would, but you're not a man to grow up. But you're not a man to grow up. All right, you know what he means, but you're not a man or some shit. And I would never go on your podcast to give you any attention because you're pathetic. Look at the views you have and followers. Give me a break. Who watches your mother? Blah, 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 whatever. Typical vegan talk. Unbelievable. Carry on. You're amusing. So I was like, cool, I will carry on. Then, oh, stop the slavery. You look like a crackhead that's just come out of detox. Calm down. Go have a steak and you'll feel better. Seriously. Dude went from animal abusers are bad. They should be prosecuted. This guy should lose his job. The company should not condone people who, or they shouldn't like support. Love you, James. Keep Fucking fighting for the voiceless. Tip, bro. Gangster. Boom. Thank you so much, Tom Crenshaw. You fucking legend. That's awesome, bros. All right. So as I was saying, what was I fucking saying? You shocked me with the mad tip, bro. Anyway, love you too, my man, and I will keep fighting. All right, so yeah, he's just going blah, blah, blah. All right, stop the slavery, have a steak. He goes from stop abusing animals to, like, not, yeah, stop abusing cats. Animal abuse is so bad to have a steak. Where the fuck do you think a steak come from, bro? Animal abuse. So this is just hypocritical. And I don't get pleasure out of pointing this out. I wish you were just like, you're fucking right. <laughs> on a slightly off topic note, Satan Inside, apparently I blocked you on Insta. Well, I probably did it for a reason. Were you talking shit? Who knows? But I tell you what, if Lee unblocks me, I'll check and I'll unblock you. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's continue, shall we? So, blah, blah, blah. Huh? Wait a second. I go on a rant here. Oh, yeah. Then he's like, mate, if you're on gear, get a refund, blah, blah, blah. It's not working. Hand in your gym membership. You're wasting your money. Use that money to help the enslaved animals because it ain't helping. Like, he's talking about my size. We're talking about, bro. I'm fucking all right, bro. I'm all right for a vegan, yeah? Not bad, not bad. I'm nothing on you. You go like five times the size arm of me, but I ain't competing. I don't care if you're bigger than me at all. I'm, I'm proud of you, but this does nothing to me. I want to talk about animal rights. That's what I'm here for. I said, Lee, what's with the fucking hostility, dude? You know, up at this point, I'm still being super fucking chill. I don't know why I blocked you stayed on the inside. I can't remember. i uh, sorry, man. I blocked a lot of people in my time. We talking shit. That's my question. You didn't answer. What's with the fucking hostility, dude? It's fine for you to call out a cat abuser, but when I mention the animals to pay... Sorry. It's fine to call out... It's fine for you to call out a cat abuser, but when I mention the animals you pay to have abused, you get triggered. You're a cool guy. I haven't seen a lot of Lee, right? But I've seen a few videos. Seems like a cool Aussie guy to me. That's, that's all I picked up on. I don't know much about things he says, things he believes. I see he's a, against animal abuse, apparently. So I'm like, awesome. Um, you're a cool guy. No need to act like this. I'm just trying to do exactly what you did by standing up for the cat. Fine if you don't want to talk. I don't care. I was just trying to have a conversation with someone with a lot of influence 
who could lead a massive perspective shift for so many people who look up to you and in doing so save a lot of animals from going through hell. Maybe you're the one not man enough to face the facts. I'm honestly surprised. Anyway, the offer is there. I once thought like you, so I'm not blaming you for anything. We both grew up in this society that told us eating animals is natural, normal, necessary, and humane. It's not, and a better world is possible. Maybe one day you'll put your ego aside and join the fight. I hope so. You would be a huge force, all the best. And then he's like, this dude's laughing at the, the um, small comment and then blah, blah, blah. I might as well read that to you, actually. I'm like, yeah, I'm just cruising for like six months and have done two cycles, you know? Is that what you do? Call people small and insult them for caring about animals. Lol, okay, boom. And that is it. And that is it, right? That is it. Then I got blocked. And yeah, show is over. So I got one more move to make right now. Look, and it's not pretty, guys, but let's do it anyway. No. So firstly, I decided to change the, the title of the video, which you can't even see right now. Boom. Lee Priest is a hypocrite. At first, it was just, is Lee Priest a moral hypocrite? And now we know. We know he is. He didn't want to discuss. No worries. Don't have to. But don't think you're doing animals any fucking favors by eating them. All right? Absolutely not. You're not. You're the complete opposite. That's not something an animal lover should do. And honestly, you should be ashamed of yourself, mate. You should. Everybody who eats animals should. I was ashamed when I found this shit out. Very ashamed. So I changed. And went vegan. And it wasn't hard. And I'm stoked I did. And I know you'd be stoked too if you did it. I'm not trying to throw shade on anybody here. Sing it, James. I reckon many won't debate you because they can't confront their own role in eating dairy and meat. DJ Bobby Metal. You legend. Boom. Thank you so much for the tip, man. Sing it, James. I reckon many won't debate you because they can't confront their own role in eating dairy and meat. And that's so sad because... I don't, I don't have to be a whole debate. Let's have a chat. I don't, I'm not here to destroy anybody, you know, on this. I'm really not trying to. I was trying to be super chill with Lee, as you can see. But like, people just think they can't do it. Like, be vegan, eat leaves for the rest of my life. That's what they think about it, you know. They, they don't have a right mentality of, like, they should just try it. That's why some people, I don't, I don't know how I feel. When it comes to Meatless Monday and go vegetarian for, for a bit first, and um, most people I know, most vegans I know, I've asked this at many speeches I've given. Most people went vegetarian first. They did something first, you know? So I actually applaud these things. It clearly works. And um, I, think, I think if people would just try it, that's what I did, I tried it first. I don't know if I'm going to do it forever, but I'll try it. If people just try it and they give it a good solid try and they, they eat the vegan meat and they, they find new foods that they like and they love it because they will. There's a million vegan recipes. They're going to fucking love it. If they do all that, <laughs> Nikki. I showed Nikki the video. <laughs> I showed Nikki the video and she's like, hmm, would have been better if it was a wrap. So let's see if a wrap comes out of all this. But, um, anyway, I'm just, I'm just going through a few things here. Who knows if I'll rap about this? Maybe, like, that's kind of the idea. Now that I'm getting a bit more organized, I can just, this is what I'd love to do. Just do a response, do a rap. And I don't want to call them out like I did the doctors, but if they're going to keep being fucking, like, willfully ignorant about it, what choice do I have? You know, I have to do something more than just, oh, I really th hope you guys are thinking about this. It's got to be more like, it's really fucked up that you guys don't think about this more, especially if you're meant to be animal lovers. Like, society needs to be called out because it is fucking wrong. Um, the real thing said, I think the 420 part of the tip was for a blaze. If that's facts, it's facts. Somebody, uh, who did the 420? 
Sing it, James. DJ Bobby Metal. Is that what happened? DJ Bobby Metal was 420 of that to <clears throat> Blizzy Wizzy Blaze. Let me know. Don't try to get me high for no reason, though. The real thing. So, look. Back to what I was going to say. So, the first thing I did is I changed it. Lee Priest is a moral hypocrite. He is. He doesn't give a fuck about the cows that are getting stabbed in the throat for him that he's paying for to happen. Okay? Like, that's a moral hypocrite. You know? I wish he wasn't. I'm not like, he's a moral hypocrite. Yes. Vegans are superior to one more person. No. I wish he was like, fully, I need to be vegan. Boom. And we're all equal up here being like, animal abuse is wrong. Whether it's to cats or whether it's to pigs. Awesome. So, moving on. These guys are all like, if it's humane, if it's, if it's inhumane, they should be charged, blah, blah, blah. Let's look if it's humane. Great, great idea, guys. Murder. That what the, the fuck is this color? What is that? Animals. This. What is going on here? I have no idea why shit's like that. Murder. Is that what color this is? Nah, it can't be. All right, that's... What is going on? All right, let me try this somewhere else. That looked crazy. Murder. What that is this? Hang on. What is going on here? Is this red as for you guys? Why do I look like I've been in the sun for 16 days? <laughs> Sunburn looking. What the fuck, man? Don't do me like this in front of everybody. OBS. Hold up. I didn't do nothing. Guy I've been tanning. A guy I've been tanning a little too much. What is this color? Well, nah, because I want to show you guys something important and it's going to look very weird if it looks like this the whole way. But why does it look like this the whole way? How come I am a weird color and Johnny, Johnny, my man, ain't? Well, that maybe is good. Is this how this video uploaded and nobody told me? Where's my phone? Nobody told me. All right, guys. That's cool. It's like that. More laughing at my... Huh. Hang on a second. What's going on here? I... Nah, it's good. It's good. What is this? Not again. How disappointing. I am pink. <laughs> Demon James. Okay. I don't know why I'm looking red on this shit. But anyway, the point I want to get to... Do the pigs look red? Look, you guys might not have seen it. So I'm going to show you. Damn, shit is crazy. No, what is this? Oh, okay. I got confused because... <laughs> Never mind. That was just me being stupid. I was like, why am I there as well? Because I'm showing a YouTube video that has this. All right, so all that iron and B12. Allison, me and Nikki got blood tests today. I mean, so we're going we're gonna to find out pretty soon how all our levels are going. We'll share it in a stream, actually. That's a good idea. I just had that then. This woman was, it was her first day. It had to be. She digged around in my veins. No blood. And then she had to go and get a supervisor to do my other arm. Fucking, that is not how I like to start my Mondays. All right. Let's look at the cat abuse video, shall we? So you guys can see what, what Lee was so fucking pissed about. To this cat. Mal. A mí me vale que le pasa esta pel... Así te voy a hacer tu perro, güey. Así lo voy a hacer. So Lee Priest uh, said that he saw this video. Whoa, shush. Kicked the cat, punched the cat. That's fucking bad. I agree with you, Lee. I think that's shit behavior for somebody to do to an animal. All right, now, how are the pigs treated that you eat? Let's have a look at that. Now that's just one example for okay. eggs. All right, obviously that's a thousand times worse. A thousand times worse. 
And this isn't just an isolated incident. You buy these animals, their body parts every day, three times a day. So this is just this constant cycle of death that you're involved in. Not just you, bro, but everybody who is not vegan. Why don't you just go vegan? Cut all this shit out. Make the world a better place. Cut all this shit out. This is eggs. Being like a blender. Hold up. Hold up. Went plant-based in 2019. At 67 years, dropped my blood pressure tablets for good. Best thing I ever did. Bless. That's epic. Did you guys hear that? Are you guys hearing that voice? <laughs> Not in my head. This is a, I got a tip. And um, it was like, text to speech i don't know if i'm the only one that can hear that or not but um thank you so much for the tip anonymous boom you are a legend i very much appreciate it so let me read this out oh you can hear it all right so you heard went plant-based in 2019 at 67 years dropped my blood pressure tablets for good best thing i ever did bless boom fucking legendary mate like look here's the thing all these guys do steroids a, a lot and it's a uh, stress on the heart and any less stress on the heart has got to be good right plant-based diet vegan diet is a lot less stress on the heart so you know it can it can like extend these guys life because they're pushing it they they push the limits it's only good things for everybody i don't know Alison can hear my thoughts. That is extremely concerning, Alison. I hope that's a joke. No, there's nothing good going on in there. I'm basically sharing all of my thoughts with all of you lately, so. Ain't nothing interesting inside here. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Let me say this, guys. If you're tipping, which thank you so much. Look, we're getting close to a goal over here. Fucking appreciate that. If you guys are going to tip and you want it to be for any of the things, let me know, all right? I don't want to be ripping my shirt off if you aren't giving a $10 tip for me to rip my shirt off. You know? That's going to be weird. But I'm happy to do it. But um, let me know if that's what it's for, all right? I'll remind you of that again if anyone comes along and starts so I was tipping and they're expecting shit and I'm like, you didn't say it was to blaze it. All right, so now we got that out of the way. Um, let me show you guys eggs. I know you see, I know you just know what eggs, all you vegans already know. That's why he's a vegan. You're like, fuck eggs. I don't want to eat eggs. Look what happens to the chickens. Look what happens to these poor innocent birds. Yeah, but some people need to see it. $15 is kiss Nikki, but is it kiss Nikki or is it just a, a generous tip? that somebody sent you know who knows nikki i don't want to kiss you for nothing you know what i mean but if you want to kiss come get one all right so birds eggs boom i'll show you one more quick thing after come and kiss me nikki please birds eggs this is the fucked up shit that happens if you want to buy eggs blended alive at two or three days old the mothers are used as egg slaves old. until they're no longer able to produce eggs and then they get their heads cut off dairy they all right you get the picture i don't know why this screen's all fucked up free the nipple allison you got a tip for the nipple you know what i'm saying it's a blender would you ever put a baby chicken in a blender Lee or anybody, Johnny, who might be watching, you said you'd watch a video on that. Like, of course not. You guys aren't psychos, but you buy eggs. And what happens if you get eggs? Baby males don't produce eggs. They're a waste product. They're so worthless. They just shred them in a blender. If you don't buy eggs, that doesn't happen. There's nobody just shredding baby chicks for the fun of it. They do it because it's part of the egg industry. So guys, like, fucking hell. <laughs> Shut up, Axel. Nah, we we good. I'll make I'll make it up to it later. Just jokes, everyone. All right, so it's fucking look. There's nothing humane about putting birds in blenders so you can eat a fucking egg. Have tofu scramble. It's so good. Have avocado on toast instead of eggs. Oh my god, it's crazy shit. So yeah. Anyway, that was pretty much what went down with Lee. I was honestly disappointed and I just hope that's not the end of it. 
I just hope that's not the end of it. I hope that Lee will think about it more. I hope he's thought about it today. And I hope he surprises us all. Excuse me a sec. All right. I hope he surprises us all and is just like, you fucking got me, bro. Yeah. Cat abuse is fucked, so is cow abuse. Totally. You know? They're just like big cats. They're like big puppy dogs. That's what a cow is. Same shit. I don't know, man. I don't know why people... Look, and here's the thing. Like, So let's get down to the core of this. Dude's not stupid. He fucking gets it. You know? He understands. Like, it's not complicated. A child can understand... I know heaps of vegan children. A child can understand this message wrong to abuse animals therefore go vegan because if you eat animals as an example you're finding animal abuse which you said you're against and you said is wrong it's so simple so anyway he might surprise us you never know but what's really going on here is not that he doesn't get it this is my this is my opinion okay because it's hard to say because when i went vegan there was never somebody who called me out and was like Hey, let's have a conversation about veganism. You should be vegan because you are a peaceful person, right? You want to be peaceful? You, you don't want to hurt animals or hurt anybody. Yes. Okay, so that's why you should be vegan, etc., etc. Nobody ever came at me with this. I got to veganism pretty much on my, like, I heard eating animals is bad karma. I went vegetarian just for health mainly. Like I saw good karma as a part of good health for me. Okay, it's I'm vegetarian. Ah, oh, this I'm reading about it. There's a lot of health benefits. Then I watch Earthlings full of slaughterhouse footage. I'm like, if we don't need to eat animals to be healthy, which I had learned just in that week of me being vegetarian, then fuck slaughterhouses. This is horrific. Is this for real? I can't believe this exists if it doesn't need to. Everybody needs to know. I can't believe I didn't get it. I can't believe everybody's not talking about this. How is it such a small percentage of people are vegetarian? And then I learned ah, being vegetarian isn't just, isn't enough. Leather is cruel. Animal products are cruel, all of them. Avoid it, all of them as best you can. Don't buy products that are tested on animals. Don't buy leather. Don't buy meat. Don't buy any of this shit. So, then the question becomes, so like, I got there like that, and then I saw Gary Yorofsky's speech, who for an hour or like 40 minutes, is just like, here is everything that makes sense that you haven't been told yet regarding ethical treatment of animals. Love your determination to wake people up. Thanks for all you do, Jay Shelley, Melbourne. Yeah, Michelle. Boom. Thank you so much for the tip. And yeah, I am determined to wake people up. I think we all should be determined to wake people up. I'm grateful I woke up. I'm grateful to be helping other people. We all just want a better world, you know, and this is one of the best ways to get it very fast. Now, Michelle tipped 420. That is a pretty specific amount. You know what I mean? The NPC voice is supposed to be somebody, um, fucking Alec, uh, Axel. Yes, all donors here are legends. I couldn't agree with you more, bro. I appreciate it so much, guys. Although I have massive goals, financial goals, I ain't there and I ain't even close and it all helps and it all counts and thank you. Helps me. Focus on these kinds of things. So I really appreciate it. Um, now, 420 is a very specific number, is it? So if you'll excuse me one moment. Now, where were we? Thank you again, Michelle92. What a champion. Appreciate that. Appreciate that so much. All right, so what the fuck is I saying? Someone put it to me in a 40 minute speech. I watched it. I'm like, now I need, now I realize I need to be vegan. I got it. My cat just woke up. He's so cute. I wish you guys could see him. Um, so here's the thing, right? If someone had come to me sooner, I always wonder how <laughs> Dylan Davies has got the ideas over here. Um, Thomas was so man. Appreciate that. So I don't know how I would have responded if somebody gave me a vegan speech one day. 
This is the closest I ever got to that, right? I had a friend, his name's Grant. Shout out to Grant. And he's a vegan athlete these days. And he's been vegan since I was in high school before anybody had ever heard the word vegan. And I'm like, what's vegan? And he didn't go into anything ethical. He's just like, I don't eat animal products. Or maybe he did, but I don't remember him saying animal cruelty, etc., etc. So I was like, all right, I don't really understand why you do that, but you do that. Okay, that's kind of weird, but whatever. I didn't get it. And then... He had a, I wonder if he remembers this. He had a, what are they called before your wedding? Uh, he had like a bachelor party thing, but it wasn't much of a bachelor party as it wasn't like the hangover. We went after, he, he didn't drink or nothing. He still doesn't. I, I believe he's like not done any drugs for like 20 years or something, longer probably. What a gangster. So he, um, he had a, a dinner, right? He had a dinner and we all go to this dinner all the school homies, everybody's eating, buying meat. Like, oh, I'll get this, I'll get the shrimp, I'll get the fucking steak. Everybody's doing that. Everybody. And then I think, I'm like, fucking Grant's vegan. Maybe I should eat a vegan thing, you know, to like, maybe he'll appreciate that. I don't know. So I, I said, Grant, what are you getting? And he's like, oh, I'm getting this some something. Some like, I think it was like a fried rice, like a tofu stir, tofu, tofu fried rice. I said, all right, I'll get that. So I cooked. So I ate my food and I was like, that was delicious. But in my head, I was just like, damn, I got no protein in that meal. That's kind of annoying. Oh, well, whatever, next meal. But you know, I did it for my homie Grant. <laughs> and um, he never gave me the conversation. So it was later that I got the conversation and I thought about it for the first time, but I wasn't on the spot. It was a video I watched of Gary Ofsky's speech. I wasn't like faced with this, confronted with this, you know? Just in, just in my own personal way. No one was there like, so what do you think about all that? And I'm like forced to come up with some shit, some excuses. So anyway, where I'm getting at with all of this is Lee, for example. I don't, he sounds like he's heard these, some of these vegan arguments before. Okay, So that's kind of disappointing because he's like, oh, here we go again with some vegan bullshit. But like, I don't know who he spoke to. I don't know what vegan. There's a lot of vegans out there who probably don't advocate very well. I mean, there is, of course. And um, maybe they weren't even properly vegan. Maybe they just were a vegan diet, you know, something like that. Who knows? I doubt they, it'd be unlikely if he spoke to a vegan who's like me about it. Maybe he has, but um, you know how I am. I'm fucking direct and I feel like I speak for the animals as well. I, I think I've thought about this more than most people. Like I think about this too much and um, I try to speak with the urgency it deserves. You know, I try to like, fucking I want this shit to end now and um yeah I just try to try to do it the best I can right so you know I'm like I've got a lot of experience talking about this is what I'm trying to say I don't know who this person this vegan was that he spoke to so did anyone ever come at him like this I don't know but my concern right is that he's not ignorant you know he gets it. He sees it as an argument. How could you not? That's the kind of bit, I, that's the conclusion I really come to. Like, how could you not get what I'm saying here, bro? It's, it's clear as day. But um, some people really just don't. You know, it's true. It's like trying to tell a racist who's been racist their whole life, whose whole family was racist, to stop being racist. It doesn't just fucking cool. Yeah, true. Like, it doesn't work like that. You know, it's, it's like conditioning. It's brainwashing. It's, it's their culture. They got to think about all this stuff. They got to like change how their brain works, like the patterns it has. And um, that ain't easy exactly. So yeah, I don't know what this guy's been through with it, but um, what scares me, right, is the people who do get it. They're like, fucking, I know, I'm a hypocrite. I know it's violent, but I just like taste of steak too much then I'm just so disappointed, you know? Okay, you don't get it. That's disappointing in its own way. And I'll repeat myself a million times like I have for 10 years on the same shit. But if you do secretly get it and you're just choosing to eat steak over doing the right thing here, you know? And you only can choose that because everybody else does it because so many people do make that choice. So you've got such a big group 
that you're all very comfortable. And us vegans, no matter how loud we are, no matter how loud the screams of the slaughterhouse victims are, no matter how many times you hear them scream, how many times we show it to you, how many times you've seen the footage, you're just like, oh, peace out, Alison. Thanks for coming. No matter how long, no matter how, um, how many times we show that, if you're still just like, fuck it, fuck it, we're getting away with it. What are they going to do? Just, it is what it is. Steak, bacon, yum, yum then I just think that's really fucked up. And I find it really hard to believe that otherwise intelligent people don't get it like that. What's not to get? What is missing? You know vegans exist. What else do you need to know? Like, I've been vegan 10 years, so it's possible. It works. It's better for you, actually. What is missing from this equation? I don't understand. I fully don't understand. Um, and and I, I tell myself I don't understand because that is better than saying, yeah, I understand. People are s- extremely disappointing, you know? So yeah, I hope it's not that. And that's why I reached out to the dude very genuinely. I'm here to help you, bro. Like, I just got some information. I think you, as someone who's against animal abuse, should know, would like to know. I'm grateful I learned it. Here I am passing, paying it forward to share to you. No hate, no bad vibes, no blame at you. You're one of billions of animal eating people, all right? But hey, maybe you, big fucking strong guy who cares about animals, who's defending animals, will want to defend animals properly, you know? Instead of defending a cat every two years, defending a cat, defending a dog. I heard you defended a dog on Thailand, on, in Thailand once, mad. And then every day, three times a day, buying pig flesh, buying cow flesh, buying birds eggs, buying fishes, you know? Like that's what's really fucked up. No injustice lasts forever said. If you're vegan and not misanthropic, are you even veganing? For sure not. It's hard. This is honestly the hardest part of being vegan. It's, it's not the food. The food's so good. I wish you guys saw what I had today. I had the best, most delicious, amazing food. All right, it ain't that. And it ain't, I don't know, nothing. It's easy. I do it every day. I don't even think about it. It's all this shit. It's all this shit of people justifying the abuse of having to repeat this over and over and over and over and over again to people who don't want to hear it. And yeah, like it, it gets you down because what do you expect? Is everybody to react like you did and be like, yeah, this is really wrong. I just figured it out. So I'm going to change. And instead, everyone's like, yeah, it's really wrong, but it's humane, actually. And fuck it. You know, we always done this. So, so it makes you think people are either really stupid or they're really brainwashed and conditioned. And that's actually a really scary side of it. It's like, fuck, this is a smart person, you know? And you're saying these ridiculous arguments. Why aren't you thinking? Why aren't you using your brain? Why aren't you observing with your eyes the slaughter and making a, a obvious connection, you know, instead of just reverting to your conditioning? But it, if it's humane, it's humane. And, but we've done this for millions of years. You know, it's like, are you looking at the same video I'm looking at? How can, how can that be the shit you say when you see baby animals being... Sh- if it was a baby kitten dropping off a conveyor belt being shredded alive, like, think about it, you know? Fuck, so it's fucking crazy. It's super crazy. And yeah, it's hard to stay positive about humanity because you lose faith because you have this conversation so many times. It's so obvious, so obvious. And yet still, everybody makes up their excuses. And not just so obvious, but so important. Like, I don't think it's more important. You're funding this Holocaust and you could stop it happening if everybody just did what vegans are already doing. Eat vegan burgers. You know, it's easy. Yeah. Godzilla, you did miss it. You did miss it. But if you want to watch it again out there who do really bad stuff, when they're being ignorant. But once you know better and don't do better, I would consider that bad. And if you do that to something so serious, like horrific animal cruelty, 
That's bad. Very bad. Yes, you're a bad person. Stop that shit. But because everybody does it, you know, we're just like, fuck, like we can't just say everybody's bad because fuck this world if that's how shit is. But yeah, it's how it is. So, you know. I hate the word humane. It's an excuse for abuse. Keep pushing the message, James. Even my parents are coming around. Next. Michelle, boom. You're a legend. Thank you so much for another tip. I appreciate that very much. All right, it's a $10 tip. It's a $10 tip. Let me know if you want this thing to come off and it'll rip off. Um, no, I'm just going to assume. And if you want me to put it back on, let me know. All right. We're a little closer to naked. Things just got spicy around here. So, thanks to Michelle again, you legend. I appreciate that too. Nikki, laughing. What's funny in here, Nikki? So, where was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, um, no, I think it's fucking bad. How the fuck do you go from chewing on celery sticks to gnawing on a ham bone? Who would do that? I don't understand what you mean by that. But like, yeah, we have vegan meat. That's what I'm saying. Me and Nikki, or me especially, I eat TVP every day. Textured vegetable protein. Soy meat. It's so popular. It's been around since the 60s. It's in every supermarket or it's in every town. Like, you know, within reason. Like, it's very popular. Or you can get it sent to your house. It's cheap. It's easy to make. You just soak it in hot water and then squeeze the water out once it's soft and add spices. It's dry so it stores for so long. <laughs> Nikki. Um, all right, peace out, Satan inside. Sorry for blocking you on Instagram, but who knows, maybe in the future I'll unblock you if you promise not to talk shit again or whatever you did. Just kidding. Peace out. Thanks for joining us. So, um, fucking, what was I saying? <laughs> you guys are fucking awesome. All right. Um, yeah, like... So TVP, right, it's, it's fucking good, guys, you know? You can make it so delicious. Meaty as, every meal is something chewy for me, chewy, meaty texture. Like, except for breakfast where I have my smoothies, I always have a vegan meat. I love it, super healthy, super high in protein, zero cholesterol, very, very low saturated fat. It's better in every way. And I don't know what people are waiting for. And, and like, look, for me that, Emma, thank you. If people are going to eat meat, you know, they also have so many new vegan options. This is a vegan meat that I eat every day from the 60s. There's meat now that looks, smells, tastes exactly like meat to the point that you give it to a meat eater and they don't even know that it's not meat. That's how good it is these days. So, yeah. Nikki gets the best tip. Oh, Axel. I love it, bro. <laughs> Channel 3 says tofu. How sad is it, the reputation that tofu has? Everybody thinks when they, everybody thinks of tofu and they just imagine a miso soup that you get at sushi that has those little slimy chunks of silken tofu in it. I'm sure anytime anybody hears tofu, they think slimy little square, zero taste, gross. And that is so sad because fuck tofu is good. We eat tofu all the time. We have it crispy, we have it um, seasoned, we have it um, like garlic, we have teriyaki, satay. There are so many ways to have tofu. It is so delicious. It's chewy, firm, delicious texture. Not somebody's flesh, no veins, no gross fat, no blood. Fucking tofu, soybeans. So delicious, so good, so healthy. Soft tofu is the best. I throw it raw in everything. Yeah, soft tofu is good. Like I think to soft tofu can be a great, um, v, uh, fuck, what's it called? Tofu scramble. Really good for tofu scramble. I also really love firm tofu for tofu scramble. But it's really good for tofu scramble and you can add it to your smoothies as well, soft tofu, and um, get heaps more protein, heaps more nutrients. So yeah, tofu's mad. 
And um, yeah, like if we don't have the TVP or if I'm not having TVP for my protein source, I'll have tofu and I just smash it. You know, like these guys don't know nothing about tofu. I didn't know nothing about tofu. Then I started eating tofu and I was like, damn, I had no idea. The first, the first like recipe I ever made that was a vegan recipe where I was, you know, turning the oven on and not just making a smoothie or something random. I made this, it was like baked tofu with tahini spread. I never knew what tahini was until this point. For anybody who doesn't know, tahini is sesame seed spread, like peanut butter, but made from sesame seeds. Um, so I make this big block of tofu cut into four sections with tahini and coconut and macadamia and like soy sauce and whatever else. It was so good. It was so good. I never made it again, but you can make it so delicious. Actually, fucking let's look up best tofu recipes. Shout out to tofu. All right. Let's look at some shit here. Look at this box. What happened? Who knows? Boom. All right, let's look up some good... Someone, if anybody knows a mad tofu recipe, let me know. So, boom, let's look. What is going on with this red shit? Oh, that's weird. We can't look at red tofu. That's not going to make any sense. I have no idea why that's happening. Oh, all right, hang on. और Tofu kabul kachi. Rees mein chik hai ya item ka naam is tofu. Mujhe laga aap apna tofu. What else we got here? You can make that so easy. The dude made it in two seconds. Here, let's look at what Simnet Nutrition does. Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen for another recipe. Who cares? What's he got? Making tofu, making tofu. Where are they bro? Where are your meals? Oh yeah, looks good. Red tofu. What the fuck's wrong with my shit? Anyway, you get the picture. Delicious, crispy, steaky kind of vibe, you know? Hardy's hungry, yes. I wish I had tofu. We tried to buy some today, but they were out. It always happens. Strawberry flavored tofu. <laughs> All right, I'm putting my shirt back on. Where do I throw it? <clears throat> Thanks again, Michelle. Whether you want it or not, you got it. <clears throat> All right. So, Simna Nutrition. By the way, got a lot of good recipes. Check him out. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that shit. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to call it a night because I don't have anything else planned to chat to you about. But if you want to... Ah, oh, oh, it's going to be... Look, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to do another stream. Gig! I'm going to do a stream uh, probably tomorrow. So, and tomorrow I'm going to share my, what's it called? Discord with you so that you can, um, if you guys have any ideas of things you want to uh, like react to or any videos you want me to see, anything like that, we can go through in the stream. <clears throat> then I'll have this chat option available. Pretty sure that's how, how this thing works. And um, then we can like, Get a bit more organized because I'm just coming on freestyling a bit of this and a bit of that one topic man lately. So ideally, there you go, bro. Ideally, um, I guess some, uh, some more stuff coming up and, and fix this color situation. And then boom, we're going to have some more streams coming up. So I'm going to show you guys that tomorrow at the Patreon page. Um, and in the meantime, if anything comes up that you just want me to react to, you can DM me on I G. But before we go, any final thoughts, anybody? <clears throat> any final thoughts on 
Lee Priest. Where do I go from here? Should I just leave it? I can't DM him because I'm blocked. I've made this whole other video. Maybe he'll watch it. Maybe I'll clip it up. What do you think? And then I'll bounce. Any chance for this guy? Do you think he's just willfully ignorant or do you think he's blissfully ignorant? Give me a couple of suggestions. I'm curious what you guys think. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna pay myself 420 to 420. How good is that? I like whole soybeans. Yes, me too. How good is, you go to like a Japanese restaurant, get edamame. Me and Nikki always get that as our uh, entree. Um, thanks for joining us, Axel. Peace, bro. Love you all unless you aren't vegan. Yeah, go vegan so Axel loves you. How about that? I don't know how many more reasons you guys need. Godzilla rules. One, two, three. Thank you for what you do. Enjoy your night. Godzilla rules. Thank you. Bull. I so much appreciate the tip. Thank you very, very much. You're a legend. Gigliardo, peace out. The real thing, peace out. All right, maybe we talked about Lee enough. I think maybe we're all on the same page a little bit here. We hope for the best. We won't hold our breath. And it's really fucking sad when people get all this message. They, they understand slaughter happens. They're against animal abuse. They don't do shit about it. You know, that's fucked up. He's a, he's a hypocrite animal abuser. Nothing more, nothing less. Facts. He is that. I mean, Ashley, Ashley, he's a narcissist. Can't you just go vegan anyway, dudes, even if you're narcissists, you know, just do it anyway. Like, do it for the moral superiority, right? There you go. Just do it for that reason. I thought narcissists would love that. Emma D, by peace, Emma. Pink hand, waving back, very apt for this stream. Peace, Luther. All right, guys. Well, in that case, I'm going to bounce. So it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, everybody who tipped. Whoa, and this is more tips in one stream than I've got in all the thousands of streams. Nah, all the week of streams that I've done before combined. What a night. I appreciate it so much, everybody. And DM me with any ideas of things you just want me to react to. And I will see you guys tomorrow around the same time.